click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends so we solved earlier problem based on calculation of floats again we are going to solve one more problem based on calculation of floats uh, this is highly mechanical we need to make a table we need to first draw the diagram and then we need, need to make a table the most critical part in calculating the float is the forward and the backward calculations once you are very much familiar with drawing the network diagram the second most important things that are normally advised to the student is to focus on forward and backward calculations even in those cases the backward calculations are more complicated for the students and all you need to do is practice hard and then only you will be able to work it out there's no other way this topic can be done all you need to work it out is very hard and practice hard then only this will be done let's proceed to the problem number nine the following table gives the activities in a construction project so we have activities a b c d e f g h i and then we have preceding activities and we need to draw a network diagram find the critical path critical activities and calculate the est lst eft lft and find all the floats let's draw the diagram first a and B are the initial activities. A के बाद C, A के बाद D है. C के बाद E, D के बाद F. So first I will draw A and B. So here is my A. Here is my B. After A we have C. After A we have D. After A, I have got C and D. Right now, I'm not sure whether I should take C here or D here. C कहाँ पे लेना है वो decide होगा उसके बाद हमको किसको join करना है. Let's see further. C के बाद है E और D के बाद है F. I need to join E and F. B के बाद मेरा activity G है और G के बाद I है. B के बाद मेरा activity है G and G के बाद I got the end activity I so after A we had C and D after C we have E and after D we have F and they both are required to be joined so I will put down a C here and a D here after C I have got E after D I have got F and I need to join E and F so C say mera aega E D say aega F and then after joining E and F, I have got the final activity that is H. Now we have one more activity after G. G ke baad aapka ek aur activity hai I. So I need to join I directly to H because both H and I are my final activity. Remember friends, these network diagrams connections are very important drawing the diagram requires skill and the shape won't matter so it doesn't matter whether your arrow goes upward or downwards your connection should be proper the only thing is that the arrow must not go backwards i'll put down the numbers inside the nodes so i will put down a one two three 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and we will note down the times for activity A it is 5, for B it is 2, for C it is 6, 
for d it is 12 for g it is 5 for e 10 f 9 h 9 and eyes now we will need to work out the forward and the backward calculations now we will see the forward or backward calculations i will use black pen for forward calculations and green pen for backward calculations i will put down a zero at the start now one se mujhe jana hai three pe there is only one root so zero plus two will be two one two two there is only one root so zero plus five will be five 3 to 7 there is only one root 5 plus 2 plus 5 is 7 2 to 5 it will be 5 plus 12 17 2 to 4 it will be 5 plus 6 11 up 6 panically my pass those roots i can come from 4 to 6 i can come from 5 to 6 i am 5 to 6 jaunga to 17 plus 9 it will be 26 अगर मैं 4 to 6 जाऊंगा तो 11 plus 10 it will be 21 so 21 और 26 4 to 6 is 11 plus 10 21 5 to 6 is 17 plus 9 26 so whichever higher comes to 26 and at last at point number 8 that is the end point I can reach from 6 to 8 or 7 to 8 6 to 8 it will be 26 plus 9 35 and 7 to 8 it will be 7 plus 1 8 whichever is higher comes to 35 so this was the forward calculations the next part is the backward calculations i will note down a 35 here aapko wahi number likhna hai jo forward calculations mein aaya tha same number now we will go backward 35 minus 1 35 minus 9 26 minus 9 26 minus 10 number 2 is a burst activity so I can come back from 4 to 2 I can come back from 5 to 2 if I come 4 to 2 then 16 minus 6 is 10 if I come 5 to 2 then 17 minus 12 is 5 so 16 minus 6 is 10 or 17 minus 12 is 5 whichever is lower comes to 5 at 7 to 3 it will be 34 minus 5 and at 1 I can come back from 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 again 2 to 1 now 5 minus 5 0 May 3 to 1 now 29 minus 2 27 whichever is lower comes to 0 it will be always a 0 at the initial stage it won't be like a 0 or a 1 as a new yoga the next thing is drawing the table to calculate the floors and identify the critical path we'll note on the activities first Here is my activity, here is my duration. And then this is my earliest starting time, earliest finishing time, latest starting time, latest finishing time. And then this is my slack at the head, slack at tail, and this is my total float let's proceed to the problem once again this was my original problem a to i are my activities so a b c d e f g h and i and the duration was 5 2 6 12 10 9 5 9 and 1 and now we need to work out the forward and the backward calculations for forward calculations we look at the tail we look at the tail for the earliest starting time we look at the head for the latest finishing time so for a it is 0 and 5 
ए का अर्लीस्ट स्टार्टिंग टाइम जीरो हो जाएगा ए का लेटेस्ट फिनिशिंग टाइम फाइव हो जाएगा सो ए का अर्लीस्ट स्टार्टिंग टाइम जीरो और लेटेस्ट फिनिशिंग टाइम फाइव इन केस ऑफ बी इट इज जीरो एट द लेफ्ट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन एट द हेड सो जीरो एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन इज माई लेटेस्ट फिनिशिंग टाइम फॉर बी फॉर सी इट विल बी फाइव एट द लेफ्ट एंड सिक्सटीन एट द राइट सो फाइव एंड सिक्सटीन फॉर डी टेल पे लेफ्ट में फाइव हेड पे राइट में सेवनटीन सो फाइव एंड सेवनटीन फॉर ई टेल में लेवन हेड पे ट्वेंटी सिक्स टेल में लेवन हेड पे ट्वेंटी सिक्स फॉर एफ सेवनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स फॉर एफ सेवनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स फॉर जी टू एंड थर्टी फोर फॉर जी टू एंड थर्टी फोर for h 26 and 35 for h 26 and 35 and at last for i left me 17 right me 35 to 7 and 35 so we'll first fill up the earliest starting time and the latest finishing time now to get the earliest finishing time we have the formula earliest finishing time equals to earliest starting time plus duration and to get the latest finishing time we are to get the latest starting time we add the formula latest finishing time minus duration so it will be 0 plus 5 0 plus 2 5 plus 6 15 5 plus 12 11 plus 10 17 plus 9 2 plus 5 26 plus 9 and 7 plus 1. To get the latest starting time, I will subtract duration from LFT. So LFT minus duration will be 5 minus 5. 29 minus 2. 16 minus 6. 17 minus 12. 26 minus 10. Twenty six minus nine, thirty four minus five, thirty five minus nine, and thirty five minus one. Now to calculate the slack at the head and the tail, we need to follow the table. Here is my chart. सो ए का टेल पे डिफरेंस है जीरो हेड पे डिफरेंस है जीरो तो स्लैक एट द हेड इज जीरो स्लैक एट द टेल इज जीरो इन केस ऑफ बी हेड पे ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस टू ट्वेंटी सेवन टेल पे जीरो स्लैक एट द हेड ट्वेंटी सेवन स्लैक एट द टेल इज जीरो फॉर सी हेड पे सिक्सटीन माइनस इलेवन फाइव फाइव माइनस फाइव जीरो तो फाइव एंड जीरो फॉर सी इट विल बी फाइव एंड जीरो For D, it will be again head pe zero, tail pe zero. For E, head pe zero, tail pe five. For F, head pe zero, tail pe zero. For G. Head pe thirty four minus seven is twenty four twenty seven, and tail pe twenty nine minus two is twenty seven. So for at head it is thirty four minus seven twenty seven, at tail it is twenty nine minus two twenty seven. So both are twenty seven head and tail. For H it is head pe zero tail pe zero, and for I head pe zero tail pe thirty four minus seven twenty seven. So head pay zero or tail pay twenty seven. After this, we can calculate the total float. There are two formulas to calculate the total float. 
I can calculate total float by subtracting the finishing times that is latest finishing time minus earliest finishing time or we have the formula latest starting time minus earliest starting time so it is ft minus ft or st minus ft both will give the same answers so 5 minus 5 is 0 29 minus 2 is 27 16 minus 11 will be 5 17 minus 17 will be 0 26 minus 21 will be 5 26 minus 26 will be 0 34 minus 7 will be 27 35 minus 35 shall be 0 and 35 minus 8 27 so we have done only the total float right now in the first two problems. Uh, in the problem they have asked us to calculate all the floats. But right now I have focused only on calculating the total floats. So I hope you are getting the point. Try to learn the formulas. This is highly mechanical. It needs a lot of practice. Once you get the practice it will be very easy. It won't be that time consuming for you to solve this problem. The table won't be that difficult, it is highly mechanical. Once you get the diagram right, I don't think any reason why there should be any mistake in the whole calculation because this is highly mechanical. So thanks, thanks for watching this video. Do keep watching our YouTube channel, Ikida.